Some more examples of using triggers, because it's a very powerful instrument when making missions. Here's our mission. Two-seater will fly here, escorted by two fighters. And we're all alone in a little aircraft. Let's say we want to have some friends, some some friendly fighters, and they should take off the moment that these enemies get within a certain distance of the airfield. Let's see how we do that. First create some more aircraft, and let's change our aircraft as well, because it's 1918, and this Newport 11 is a bit uh, in the wrong place in the wrong time, so let's change it. It's quite easy. Select it, go here, click on Model, you see a list of all the available models and let's say you want a SPAT 13 double click and voila there it is now create some more aircraft planes Newport 28 I put it here create linked entity it's French and it will start on the ground copy paste. This one is attached or is belongs to the other one. Add by dialog. What is that number again? 1287. Okay. So. First we should have it take off. How do we do that? Now again. Take off command. It belongs to this aircraft. It should be triggered. Mm, mission begin. You could use a timer to delay things so that not everything in the mission will start at the same time. In this case it's not really necessary that they do it right away. Um, of course we don't want to trigger it right away because we said that first the condition has to be met which is that these enemy aircraft should be within a certain distance so okay interesting well that's possible because there is a special um, trigger for that and it's called S2 actually check zone and there is proximity proximity measures the distance between two objects in particular and check zone just measure it measures uh, within a, a certain zone if if certain objects will appear. So let's use that one because we want to relate it to the location of the airfield. So we put it here somewhere near the airfield and we'll double click it to see the properties. The properties are quite simple. It's a radius you have to type in. Let's say that when it gets within three kilometers it should trigger. And trigger on what? Well, here's a tick mark. It says the zone type is cylinder or sphere. A cylinder means that um, the shape of the volume where the other uh, objects will uh, appear in but when it will get triggered is a, is a cylinder or it is a sphere. I'm going to use a cylinder. So it doesn't mean how high the altitude, uh, how high the enemy aircraft will fly. They will always be when it, they they'll be within three kilometers um, looking from straight straight uh, from top to uh, top down this will be triggered okay and which aircraft will then be tr uh, trigger this event well it's the central powers so true I'm zooming out you see a circle this is the circle around this uh, trigger check zone so now we know that once these aircraft get within this range, so somewhere around here, this will trigger off an event. So we can say find target and we say take off. But now it's important that this trigger should be uh, activated first. When we now start the mission it, it will do nothing. So we're going to use this same translator mission begin to activate this trigger. This is important. I think this is something that people tend to forget, and I did a number of times, and they think that hey it, it doesn't work, but you have to, to activate this trigger first, 
by using this trigger line and then it will you know, look for enemy aircraft within this radius it will then trigger and trigger off this command and these aircraft will take off of course they don't know what to do then so we'll, um, we'll give them an uh, assignment here's a command called attack it should be interesting we'll place it somewhere here it belongs to our friendly fighters we have to tell them what to attack well of course the two-seater is the most important object so we'll say find target we'll look for the two-seater and click on it another way of doing it of course is double click here and you can you can choose a two-seater from the list okay now we have to of course to trigger this command otherwise it will never happen and when we'll do that uh, well first we have to make sure that the aircraft aircraft are in the air so we can do it only after they've they took off so let's use that same event again the on took off event to trigger this command here we go double click events table add event let's say on took off where is it here find the target which was the uh, command attack okay okay now you see the purple line again and now once the aircraft are in the air they will immediately start to attack the enemy two seater something I forgot in the previous lesson but this is um, it's not really necessary because there's only two aircraft but when you have a flight of multiple aircraft like this one it's two let's say we want to make this is three this we can do easily by copying this one put it here also make sure that it belongs to this aircraft 1271 add by dialogue 1271 So now we have, we have a proper flight of two aircraft. This is the leader and here's two wingmen. Now first what we need is of course some sort of formation. We need to tell him uh, what formation he's, he's going to use. They're going to fly in. And we got to tell the other aircraft uh, what their place is in the formation. So I double click this the flight leader and here's a, a box that says change formation. And here you can see the other two aircraft listed. 1273 and 1297 and you can see the order so 1273 will be the number one and 1297 this one will be number two so this looks to be okay now when we start this game this mission um, we never gave them any order to fly a specific formation so let's do that because otherwise they'll be flying a bit uh, erratically it's going to be very annoying, especially when you're, as, uh, when you're the flight leader. So, here's a command called Formation. Click here. Connect it to the object. And we can define the formation. And there's several types of formation. For aircraft, there are some, some formation for vehicles as well. So, let's say we want to fly in the, in the left or in the fee form. And then there's dense, safe or loose is the density of the formation. Let's click save and OK. So let's say the um, this formation should be applied as soon as these are in the air. How do we do that? Well when the mission begins they are already in the air because they start in the air and they are enabled. But let's give it some time before they uh, they actually get the command so let's use a timer here, let's say after 15 seconds the flight leader will give the, the order. So from the mission begin, the timer is started, and the timer will trigger the command. And 15 seconds in the game the flight leader will wave his hand and signal 
to these guys to fly in the V4 formation. Okay, there you have it. These guys are now flying in formation. We've got two friendlies, two fighter aircraft that will take off as soon as the enemy aircraft get within range of the airfield and then we'll go for them and try to attack them. Now we haven't done anything specific, we haven't defined any actions for them once they've actually destroyed the aircraft, what to do next, but I think you have now you now have the enough uh, knowledge to finish this one yourself.